Street in the East Village, Des Moines. Details at iowataproomevents.com. You know buzzer billies for their budget-friendly, belly-pleasing, big portion. Having to play the Knicks and then, in theory, Boston after that, that's definitely a harder pass if they fall to six. So... Hi, this is Gene from Listening and Radio, KB9001MWDX, KB9001SWL, and WN9, WN9CWC, my ham radio call sign, of course. And I'm just here to do a, a more in-depth review of this particular radio, and this was found on Amazon.com, and it's unbranded, and the only thing, uh, or the only description that it gives for the, uh, the radio is it's the SI as in India, Sierra, India, 4732. And I just want to point out some really obvious things initially in my, my first initial ob- observations of when I got this radio. And it's pretty interesting. There are some very, some very interesting aspects about this radio. And it's packed full of a lot of accessories that you wouldn't expect from somebody, something this small. It's only like uh, an inch and a half or so by, by less than four inches. It's a really tiny thing, and it comes with this particular... Uh, antenna, which is a uh, it's a loop antenna. Which, by the way, I just want to mention that the uh, loop antenna uh, says 9.9 kilohertz to 181 megahertz, and uh, it does cover those bands quite well. Um, and, and it even does pretty good DXing on the AM band because obviously this is a loop style antenna, which uh, would work very well for an AM uh, medium wave uh, reception setup. But initially, uh, the, my first observations are, are this: that number one, it's in a uh, 3D printed case, and you can see this is. You kind of look at it there. It came off a 3D printer, and it has a lot of data in the front window. Uh, it has a simple on-off switch here. It's just one flick of the switch. There is some sort of... Whoops, hang on here. Let me go ahead and remute that. And there's some sideband on 305 on 20 meters. Let me just mute this out so we can have a conversation Okay, there we go. Uh, and th- it does have sideband. It has sideband capabilities and also has a BFO for those of you who are uh, amateur wave listeners or ham radio operators. It has a beat frequency oscillator, uh, so you could do sideband, and it does very well uh, with that. And you can do different adjustments for steps so you can get to your, your target frequency uh, a lot quicker. But, again, it's a uh, 3D printed, and it comes with the obligatory earphone jack, which is a requirement for me. But also the other thing is uh, one of the uh, downfalls of this, but I, I mean, you can't really, you can't really uh, blame it on the radio. I mean, just the size of it is it has a very small, very small speaker. And this is meant to be maybe a small type radio that could be backpacked, uh, brought along. I, I would be very careful about this, uh, this particular ant- antenna that has this uh, this connector on it, it could be very very a weak spot if you put it in a backpack or a bag. It could probably break easily. Though, you know, I would almost recommend if you wanted to carry one of these on, uh, say, an expedition, you probably want to have uh, a Pelican case uh, to put it in, and I think that would be a very good very good way to do it. Um, it is rechargeable. It has an internal battery, so you don't have to take a battery in or out. It has a USB uh, charging port, which here's a USB charging port on top, so it's uh, rechargeable, uh, which is pretty neat, which also means you could probably recharge it by a solar cell if you had a solar cell or a, um, uh, a portable battery, recharging battery. So there's some, there's some upsides to that. I, th- I think that portability is really great. But as far as its operation, it has three different uh, menus, and this is the first menu which shows up all the time as, you, as soon as you turn on the radio and just has a basic information uh, menu that tells you where you're at. Right now it's on 20 meters, it's on the AM band, it's on 10-step, um, it tells you the bandwidth, it's at a 3.0 bandwidth, um, and beat frequency oscillator is off. It also has some type of, a, I, I want to call it, uh, pardon me if I mispronounce this, but an attenuation circuit. Uh, that clears up the audio. Maybe uh, if any ham radio operators or engineers want to talk about that type of uh, uh, feature in a radio, please put it in in a low bar and make some comments on it. I'd like to hear your your opinions of that. So it has uh, VHF, which is FM. It does not have like airband. It does not have ham radio VHF. It seems to me that VHF means 
FM radio. And it does FM pretty well, and I put up some videos. In fact, in the beginning of this video, I did some examples of uh, reception on the different bands. Uh, the FM, by the way, is stereo, and but because of the size of the speaker and the size of this unit, like if you use headphones, uh, the audio is not that loud. The, the the top of the the top of the audio is really not as loud as I'd like it to be. But that's okay because if you have like a powered speaker. Uh, that you can run it through, or a Bluetooth, maybe a, a Bluetooth transmitter. Maybe you could transmit it to a louder, a louder unit, or a louder speaker, speaker, or to another auxiliary unit. So that's a possibility as well, too. But again, it is AM, FM, shortwave. Uh, it does not have weather bands, so it doesn't have those typical like utility bands. Um, it has a B frequency oscillator. You can receive 10 meters, 20 meters, uh, 40 meters, 80 meters, 15 meters. Uh, so it's like shortwave 1 through 9, and it covers the entire medium wave band. Uh, I tried it on, on AM band. Did, I did some medium wave DXing, and I was hearing the Chicago stations uh, pretty well last night. And, and again, I mentioned that it has this uh, this loop antenna, and I actually coupled this loop antenna with my uh, TechSun uh, AM loop, and it did a very, very, very nice job. But this is a, a cool radio, and I, I'm i really impressed with it. And, you know, you think after all the radios that I've been through and and looked at over the years, but I'm just really impressed with this radio, uh, its performance and its response. It's a little bit slow. It's got a VFO on here, and you can adjust. You know, you can certainly adjust the steps on that VFO, but it's you know it's a little bit tedious. You can to get to where you want it to be, and that's the only you know the big problem that I can see with it. Uh, it's a little bit slow on on the frequency uptake for me, but you know I'm okay with for, for with what it is. You know and. Uh, I didn't pay a lot of money for this. I think I paid under forty dollars for it with the uh, with the loop antenna. Loop antenna. I, I was actually thinking about buying uh, just one of these straight loop antennas too, just to use it for my AM reception. And it does it, it complements this radio very 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 well. I also want to note that on shortwave, I took a um, my my long wire antenna and I just attached it right here on this alligator with an alligator clip right at the base of the uh, the loop, and it worked very well for shortwave. Uh, reception it brought up it brought up the gain uh, quite a bit so that's like really promising so if you maybe wanted to uh, uh, take this off and just hook a a wire antenna directly into this you could probably do that and it didn't seem to overload the radio at all it seemed to work pretty pretty well so I'm kind of pleased but interesting interesting radio and like I said everything that you would expect from like a bigger radio including single sideband capability is packed into this little tiny package so it's really neat okay i'm about eight minutes into this video and i didn't want to bore you all to death with this i just wanted to give everybody kind of an in-depth look at what what this thing was because uh, i put up like three or four videos about it already but i i think it's like a very cool addition to uh uh to my emergency uh repertoire and it, you know this is something again it would work well in a in a in a plastic uh, Pelican box or some type of uh, a tackle box container and pull it out and put it together and recharge it if you needed to recharge it. You could do it in your vehicle or you could probably do it from a solar panel. So I think that uh, this radio has some definite really interesting aspects about uh, what it is and how it could be used. So, uh, you know, more to follow. Uh, always having a good time. Okay, this is Gene from Listening and Radio. Take care.